Hello everyone, Brian Trapania here. Just going to go over the uh, throwing an object in Blender tutorial once more to add on a little bit that would be kind of handy to know. So we'll just go through the whole thing again here. Um, what we're going to do is we have a scene that's set up with a wall, a sphere, and uh, armature. Um, so we're going to turn the uh, wall into a rigid body first, uh, select it, uh, go to rigid body, and um, make it a passive and set it to mesh then select the sphere go to rigid body leave it as active and set it to sphere select the armature uh, and then on frame one in pose mode top bone uh, give it a rotation keyframe go to frame 10 rotate it down give it a rotation keyframe there as well go to frame 15 rotate it the other way like such and give it a rotation keyframe. It's going to actually pitch underhand, but that's fine. Go back to frame 10 and select the sphere and animate keyframe on rigid body. And then on frame 9, deanimate and keyframe it. And then on frame 15, deanimate and keyframe it. And then go back to frame 10, go to dynamic parent add-on and select the armature and go into object mode, select the sphere with the armature selected already. And then you can create a link between the armature and the sphere and then go up to frame 14 and set a location keyframe for the sphere go up to frame 15 so that uh, create a location keyframe for the sphere and then disable the uh, parent uh, dynamic parent on frame 15 so now what that's going to let you do is give you some options for volume uh, uh, speed and such so here it uh, you can see if you have uh, set up with some uh, other rigid bodies that they will get knocked over when I open up that there it's on another layer so and take that away and then we'll uh, drop down the graph layer with the sphere selected the graph editor I should say and um, turn that into a graph editor and then we're tossing it on the Y axis so we can shut off everything else and just select the Y location with the Y location selected we now have the markers that we put for keyframe 14 and 15 and with that you can see how the ball sphere is getting thrown there select the keyframes in the graph editor and it'll set it so it tosses it higher up, tosses it faster, depending on which one you uh, mess with. There's three there to to mess with, um, and they all do different uh, different things. But uh, so now you have an option of how it gets released once the uh, toss, once the pitch is done and out of the way. And uh, some of it's a little crazy, but certainly plenty of options. And and it's a constant uh, rigid body that will interact with other rigid bodies. So that's pretty cool I thought and uh, worth uh, making the second version of this video tutorial for. Um, so I uh, hope you find it useful and bye.